I believe that they racially profiled Jesus in order to arrest him, in order to convict him, and in order to kill him. I know that's kind of shocking to some of you today to hear a preacher suggest that Jesus was racially profiled, but I believe that's precisely what happened. Consider this with me, if you will. Jesus was a Galilean Jew from a town in the north part of Israel, a town called Nazareth. We have a map that we want to show you that shows you how Jesus was from the Galilee in the northern part of Israel there. It's in the northern part of Israel and the town that he was from Nazareth was in that northern part right below Zebulon in the northern part of Israel. When you study the ancient world, you'll discover that no people didn't think anyone, any good thing could come out of Nazareth. When you read John chapter 1 verse 46, John conveys to us the sentiments of the people. John says, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? They said that because in Nazareth uh, the schools were bad. In Nazareth the neighborhood was bad in Nazareth. They had housing projects in Nazareth. There were liquor stores on every corner. In Nazareth there were there were high instances of Galilean on Galilean crime in Nazareth if you were from Nazareth you weren't from a good area they didn't think you would be a leader a governor president anybody if you came from Nazareth now when Jesus is arrested I feel like preaching When Jesus is arrested in the days leading up to his death, he's not hanging out in the north in Galilee. He's not in his neighborhood when he gets arrested. Uh, he's hanging out in another neighborhood down south. He's, he's hanging out down there in, in, uh, in Jerusalem. And so I want to suggest to you that Jesus in part was arrested because somebody thought he was in the wrong neighborhood. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. And there are times. And there are times when I wonder, as a homiletician and a theologian, there are times when I wonder how Jesus was dressed that day. I suspect that Jesus was dressed like a Galilean. I, I suspect that he was not dressed like a person from, San, from Jerusalem. And I, I suspect there was somebody who saw him in that neighborhood and concluded based on his appearance. Have I got a witness here? That he was an outsider. You know, Galileans didn't look like those from Jerusalem. They were mixed race in uh, Galilee. So somebody looked at him, and because of his appearance, they thought Jesus looked suspicious. <laughs> he wasn't dressed like a Judean. He was dressed like a Galilean. And the appearance police saw him and concluded that he didn't belong in that neighborhood. I imagine that somebody spotted him, and they started following him on their on their horse uh, called in the 911 said there's somebody in my neighborhood that looks suspicious I don't know what Jesus was doing he was probably just going to the corner store to get him some candy and a and an iced tea on his way to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover and somebody arrested him because he didn't look like 
He belonged in that neighborhood. Jesus was racially profiled. And they brought him in that court on trumped up charges. And at the end of that week, they killed him. And you know something, church? We got a lot of that going on today. We got a lot of injustice and racial profiling today. Come here, Geraldo Rivera. You remember Geraldo? You remember Geraldo who made a despicable, outrageous statement. He later apologized, yes, but it was kind of half-hearted. In which he blamed Trayvon's killing in part on his dress and his attire. He said that if Trayvon had not been wearing a hoodie, then he wouldn't have been killed. That's interesting to me. I, when I heard that, I thought I would consult some folk to ask them what they thought about the suggestion uh, that if you have on a hoodie, that's responsible for you being killed. So I called up Dr. King. Dr. King said, that didn't help me. I didn't have on a hoodie. Dr. King said, I had on a suit, a conservative black suit, and I still lost my life. I called up Malcolm X and I said, Malcolm, did you have on a hoodie when you got killed at the Audubon Ballroom? Malcolm said, no. I had on a dark conservative suit and I still lost my life. They both told me that your appearance is not the basis upon which you'll get challenged in this culture. It's the principles and the values upon which you stand. And I believe, church, that we need more Christians today. We need more preachers today who will stand up against injustice. The tragedy of the text before us today is that when Jesus was tried, that religious people kept quiet. They did not march. They did not rally. They did not support him. They watched him lose his life. But I thank God. I thank God that at the beginning of that week, knowing that death was waiting for him on Friday, I thank God. I thank God that knowing that he was going to die some days later, that Jesus kept on walking to Jerusalem. I thank God that even though he had haters all around him, that he kept on putting one foot in front of the other. And he died. Somebody say he died. And I thank God today because if Jesus could choose me, then I could certainly choose him.